Yo, what's up guys? So in today's short video, I'm going to be showing you 10 different registry tweaks to boost your FPS, lower your latency, and overall make your game feel smoother. But before we start the video, I'm going to tell you guys about a tool which has over 500 tweaks, just like the ones that I'm going to be showing you in this video. Check out exmtweaks.com where you can find my premium and standard tweaking utilities, which are tools that can completely optimize your PC for the best possible performance and lowest possible latency. We have over 1,000 reviews combined on our Discord and website. So make sure to check out exmtweaks.com to completely optimize your PC. Now, let's just start the video. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is downloading the files used in the video. So simply go to your browser and search up discord.g slash exm and press on it. And this will make you join my Discord server. Or simply head over to the free tweaks category right here. And you're gonna want to find the 10 registry tweak. And simply head over to the download link right here. And this will put you into a Google Drive. And simply press on the exm 10 registry and press download. It should show up in the upper right corner right here and simply press on it. Drag this folder anywhere. So I'm gonna put this, I don't know, onto my desktop. I'm gonna open it. And here, the first thing that we're going to be doing before we start the tweaks is going to make a restore point. And the restore point will allow you to revert the tweaks. So simply press on create a restore point, run it. And in here, press create. And then the restore point, I don't know, just EXM or something, whatever, and press create. And it's gonna take a few seconds and it's gonna make a restore point. And boom. And now simply press on the .txt file, the registry paths. Here, we're gonna have a list of the settings that we're going to be doing in this video. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is pressing Windows and R on your keyboard. And this will open up this little menu and simply type in reg edit like this and then press enter and it will open this little application and it looks kind of complicated since there's all these folders which you can open but trust me i'll tell you guys exactly what to do so the first tweak which is going to be disabling gpu preemption and simply take this path and paste it over here so it will be like computer slash boom and here right click on this press new the word 32-bit value and copy disable preemption from here press on rename boom disable preemption and simply keep the value on zero that's all that is for the first step and this is how it's going to work all right so the next thing that we're going to be doing is windows 32 priority and two extra settings and simply head over to the txt file and copy the path from the txt file like this boom paste it in it will put you in here and you probably already have windows 32 priority separation here simply double click on it and uh, make sure this is set to hexadecimal and set the value to 26. there's a bunch of different values you can set here but for me and for probably 90 percent of people 26 will work the best press ok then we're gonna add two more registry values to this simply go to the txt document and copy irq8 priority press new d word and paste it in and the rq8 will be set to one press uh, new again new d word and paste it in again but just change the 8 to 16. boom and change the value to 2 and that's all you have to do here so the next thing that we're going to be doing is keyboard and mouse that are q size so simply copy this and uh, we're gonna go to two different folders so paste the path in and in here find services this little services folder and just press on anything and press k and this will take you to kbd class and in here you should have a parameters folder and if you don't simply press on the kbd class press new key and name it to parameters and in here find keyboard.aq size and of course if you don't have the registry d word then just go back to the txt file and copy this boom new d word boom when you made it or if you already have it just simply double click on it comment your cpu down below to find out whichever value you should use i'm gonna tell you if you don't know what cpu you have just go to task manager then go to performance and here you see my cpu i have a 13th gen intel core i7 for me i'm gonna use 12 hexadecimal and in here basically the lower you go the less delay you have but it will also cause like keyboard lag and stuff if you have a low-end pc the lowest you can go it's like 12 or 11 if you have a really good CPU. Just comment below whatever CPU you have and I'll tell you which exact uh, value you should use. And uh, the same thing we're gonna do for keyboard. So go back to services again, press on M, find the MOU class, this, and find parameters. Of course, if you don't have parameters, again, make a new key. In here, we're gonna have mouse that are Q size. You're gonna want to set it to the same value as you set your keyboard. So for me, I'm gonna set it to 12. 
that's everything for keyboard and mouse that are size. So the next thing that we're going to be doing is disabling power throttling. So simply copy this little D word and paste it in here. You will find uh, in power the power throttling folder. Of course, if you don't have this, then uh, here, like on power settings, make a new key, name it power throttling, but I already have it. And in here, and in here, make a key called power throttling. You can copy it from the file, but I already have it. Double click on it and set it to one. That's all you have to do for power throttling. All right, so the next thing that we're going to be doing is distribute timers and simply copy this keyword, paste it in. And if you don't have the distribute timers, then of course make it, but I'm probably gonna stop explaining it now because uh, I've already said it like a thousand times. It's always gonna be new DWORD 32-bit value. So simply find distribute timers and make sure this is set to one. And yeah, the next thing that we're going to be doing is Najal's algorithm. So this one is gonna be a little bit more complicated, but simply paste the path in. In here, uh, you're gonna want to find interfaces and you see all of these registry keys and in here find the one uh, which has a lot of settings so most of them only have like three or four um, and in here uh, there should be your IP address which I'll actually blur out mine of course but in here we're gonna add all of these so TCP no delay TCP del actix TCP del ac frequency so yeah boom and in here you're gonna want to add three D words so these are the ones that are right here so simply copy TCP no delay new D word paste in uh, TCP no delay and then set the D word to one then we have T TCP delete actix new D word boom and uh, you're gonna want to leave this on zero next we have TCP act frequency uh, new D word and set this to one all right so the next thing that we're going to be doing is disabling the selective suspend on your USB which basically disables power saving and simply copy the path as always and in here we're just gonna make a new key called disable selective suspend boom and make sure it's set to one so the next thing that we have is network throttling and system responsiveness so simply copy this path as always and in here you're just gonna copy my settings so network throttling index should be set to 8f so ff 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 and yep and system responsiveness should be set to zero and uh, by default you should already have these keys but if you don't of course you can make them and yeah that's everything for this step all right so the next thing that we're going to be doing is optimizing mmcss or tasks and in here copy the path go there and find games and we're gonna basically copy my settings so make sure affinity is zero background only is false background priority should be zero and clock rate leave that on how it is and then gpu priority uh set that to 12 hexadecimal and latency sensitive should be true priority should be two and scheduling category should be high sfi priority should be high and these are the settings you should use here so yeah that's everything about optimizing mmcss and the final setting that we have is going to be disabling hdcp and this only works on nvidia gpus since uh, on amd gpus you can disable it directly through the settings i'll show you how to do it on the screen right now but yeah let's just go uh copy this little path paste it into registry editor and in here find the folder which should be most likely 000 but it also can be other numbers the way you verify that it's the correct folder is you open it find uh, the hardware information string and make sure it says your GPU. And you can see that it indeed says my GPU. Copy this right here, RMH TCP key zero, and make a new key, boom, and paste it in. And make sure this is set to one. So after that, simply restart your PC so the tweaks properly apply, and you can go straight into Fortnite or any other game to test it out. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If this helped you, make sure to comment down below. Bye.